Hello and welcome to this short demonstrational video on how Omni webinars work. This is a very cool and efficient app to run uh, evergreen webinars uh, for your different offers, products, services or whatever you are selling online. Uh, basically, you can uh, create webinars that look live for your audience so that you can, uh, you can promote uh, uh, and make sales on an evergreen basis. Now, first things first, uh, after you are going to purchase Omni webinars or if you have purchased Omni webinars uh, and you will log in, this is what you are going to see. This is how the dashboard looks like. It's something very simple, very user friendly. Uh, very clean okay you can see that you have a, a left side menu here home and this is how your home page will look like my event so basically uh, you can run multiple evergreen webinars using this platform event stats here you can see how many viewers you had on your webinars uh, how many of them registered how many asked questions and other things like that and uh, the support area obviously if you need any support with absolutely anything uh, which we we hope you won't in a sense in which everything works well for you. You can go to the support area and you can reach out to us without no hesitation. We are here 24 seven for you. Now, let me show you how this works. You also see that here in the dashboard, we have different options like view your events, add an event, event statistics and help and tutorials, okay? We can see some quick stats here. We have free total events as test. Uh, free total videos and free total attendees. Okay, so people who actually signed up to see our webinars. <clears throat> now, let me show you exactly how you can add a new event. You just have to go here on this option, add an event, click on it. Okay, we will have to log in. Okay, let's go back to the home page. So again, add an event. Uh, first of all, we have to put the number of movies in this event. So uh, if we want to make our event to look more real as a live event in the front of our, of our audience, what we can do in a single event, we can insert multiple videos that start at a certain uh, time. Okay, that way if somebody logs in now at uh, let's say 12 o'clock, he will see the, the whole movie, the whole event from the beginning. If he logs into the event at 12 uh, and 10, minutes uh, he will uh, see a different video which starts from 10 minutes okay and that makes it look more real but we are as a test we are going to use only one movie okay the whole movie like let's say a uh, one hour and a half webinar recording okay so we are going to put here one then we click on the proceed button event name i'm going to name it test two event description so event name this is basically the name of your webinar event description description so here you can have like a, a copywriter create the event description for you or if you are good at copy you can write it yourself the whole idea is to be attractive right test two okay uh, then when when do we want the event to start uh, 26 March hours let's say 16 this is in central time don't forget okay omni webinars user use coordinated universal time okay so this is in central time let's leave it like that event buffer uh we'll we leave it on zero event allowed views here basically uh we are uh, setting the the omni webinar uh, for uh, for a total maximum of viewers actually okay and let's say we have 500 uh, do we want these viewers to see directly the webinar or to require registration? That means to opt in with their email. We want registration, display question form. We want them to have questions during the webinar or not. If we want them, we just check here. If we don't, we don't check it. Okay, register button. Regi register. Register for the just a second for the webinar okay very simple then order information if we want to add uh, if we are uh, if we are holding a sales webinar if we want to add a buy button to the webinar we can do that so this is absolutely uh, amazing because it's very very efficient we just have to check here time to display button basically here we we put the time when we want to uh, we, when we want the button to uh, appear okay after people watch a certain amount of time from the webinar let's say that we have a webinar which has 60 minutes and we want the buy button to appear 
uh, let's say after 45 or after 50 minutes what we have to take in consideration here uh, how much time we want to display the the button uh, basically let's say that we want uh, it to appear at the 50 minute or something like that we just put the last 10 minutes with 60 seconds so it will be like 600 here okay so you have to calculate this in seconds and put the exact time order url here you put the order maybe it's your paypal checkout url order button order now okay order offer button okay the same thing redirect for information after the webinar uh, it's finished if we want to redirect people or if we want to redirect them after a certain amount of time here we set the time and the redirect url recurring information if you want this event to be repeated so to work as a live webinar repeat to date let's say 31 of march okay so we want it five days repeat event on monday tuesday wednesday okay every single day so we want it every day movies information movie name we have our first movie name it doesn't matter test one movie url uh, we recommend you to host your movies on Amazon uh, S3 or on your own platform if you have a platform. What I did is uploaded one here so you guys can see how this works. Okay, let me go back. So this is the this is the one for me. And here you basically you have to put in the movie length okay for this one i think it's three minutes and 11 or something like that and we are pretty much done then the template information watch template so basically uh, what type of template people will actually see during the webinar and waiting templates okay uh, basically what they will see if they register and the webinar is not ready yet and we're pretty much done okay with all the settings now we have to press the send button your event has some errors. Let's see which are the errors. Order time. Let me deactivate this. Okay, send. Days for repeating the event. Okay, we didn't set the days. Yeah, let's don't let's not repeat it. Okay. So send event added successfully. Your viewer can reach this event following the link. You can view the event details here okay so now it's ready this is the link where people will actually be able to see it okay this is the live workshop your name you have to register Sorin. okay register for the webinar and the event has not yet started okay we can see that it starts in six hours so this is pretty cool this is the template for the waiting page basically this is what people will see and then in six hours and six minutes and 15 seconds now the actual webinar will start okay let me go back okay and let me show you my events you can see here this is the test two okay this is my events and let us preview the event okay this is basically the registration page for the actual webinar so we won't see the waiting page anymore access the webinar room and this is how the webinar looks like hello hello and now the video starts welcome to play to this, uh, okay pretty simple guys pretty nice very very easy to First use lecture from this and uh, this is definitely a tool that you want to have your hands on and to make maximum use of it here we can get also the event link uh, here we can see the event details we can add videos we can edit the, vi the video we can delete the event can clone the event okay so we have all of these options then if we go into event stats we can see okay register people test one test two attended free free okay questions we don't have questions because we didn't add, add questions but you got the whole idea okay it's simple it's easy to use and it's very very powerful because it allows you to have evergreen webinars that can generate money for you Thank you again for watching and we are looking forward uh, to seeing your results with Omni 